that you wanted to ask me? I said, um, how do I sound? Do I sound sexy? You sound uh, very sexy. I can give you some more bass and you could sound even sexier. You can do fantastic things with your voice. Do I sound sexy? <laughs> Hello. Try again. <laughs> Oh, okay, we fill around with this, and now I sound like a laughing hyena. Hello! <laughs> it's like I'm a No hyena. comment, no comment. I kill him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll come back to normal now, very slowly. There we go. Is that better? Indeed it is. Thank you very much. Right, uh, yes. Live band coming into the studio. I have them. I don't have them here. Yes, I've got their bits of paper here. Uh, and you yes, can tell it me would a bit be an idea them. if you read it. Well, before the Sid from Inter comes in, he's coming yeah, in about five minutes, isn't he? Six minutes. Yeah. They got minutes. a John Peel session on some radio station, which John Peel works on. I don't know which one it is. And uh, uh, they've been in the Enemy Brats Unsigned Showcase and lots of stuff. And where is he? Sid Stovrod. Stop. How do you pronounce that? Sto um, Stovold. It could be Stovold. So I don't want to, I don't we'll ask him when he comes in. I don't want him to come in and think that I can't pronounce his name. because I, I think I once pronounced it Sid Stovroid. Stovroid. And, and that was uh, wrong. But they've got, they've, got, they've got a Michael Bolan. I thought Michael Bolan was a solo artist in there. They've mm. got a what? And Michael Bolan. He's on bass, guitar and vocal. I thought he was uh, like an international rock star. Michael he Bolan. is. Uh, he's a wonderful bloke. Is he? Yes, he is. Cool. Anyway, they're coming in about six minutes time. Inter coming into the studio. Also, we have... But for now, we have a band in the studio. They're called Inter. Where are you from? Uh, Farnborough. Farnborough? Oh, right, fact. so you're... Well, not, not all of us. Some of us are... Some, some of us are for miles away. You're locally homegrown, almost. Yeah. In Surrounding areas. areas, yes. What sort of stuff do you play, then? What music? Loud. <laughs> in your face. Fast. <laughs> guitar. <laughs> pop. Pop, yes. Right. Uh, compared with, I don't know, Ash? You a bit of an Ash? Ash Green Day, marvellous. Yeah, mm. yeah, we've been compared to those sort of bands. Yeah. Right, you were saying that uh, you need to be really young now to get into the record business. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. So, how old are you, in fact? Uh, 17, 18? Not quite that young. <laughs> no. 23? <laughs> Add a good few years on there. <laughs> and looking for a record deal now, how much luck have you had? Well, we're actually uh, currently negotiating a deal, um, which is... Uh, a long process. Yeah, because be, I, I think we spoke to you a while ago, actually, and you were negotiating a deal then. We're uh, still there. Exactly. Still That's negotiating. how long it is. Same company? Yeah, same company. Big name, or...? Uh, can't really go into that. Right, you can't. Unpronounceable name. Can't <laughs> describe details at the moment. All right. What was it like? Uh, we heard that you did a, a session for John Peel on Radio 1. What was it like doing that, and how? Martha really wants to know this. How did you get that uh, John well, Peel session? Well, we put a single out um, called Happy Ending, and uh, a copy got sent to him. And he liked it and played it quite a lot on his show. And the next step was his producer just phoned up and said, do you want to come in and record some songs? And so you impressed the great John Peel? We did. How the much, bearded wonder. How much did you do for him? How much went out? Uh, we did four songs. And you broadcast them all? We broadcast them all. Twice, in fact. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so there you go, Martha. That's how to do it. Get someone else to send you a single in. Mm. When you start My singing. My singing days were over. <laughs> <laughs> right. Also, um, do you get up to any sort of rock and roll things? Because you're in this band now, and presumably uh, you want to live the lifestyle as well. <laughs> no, not at all. No, we're well behaved. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Never do anything trash. naughty, no. No uh, teenage <coughs> fans. <laughs> yeah. We, we have a few. We have a few teenage fans. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Get, we get up to a few sort of saucy things. Right. Uh, any uh, particular instance that you care to... Uh, well, I can't really divulge that in case there's any police list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Farmer Police Force, watch out for a band called Inter going around the pubs and clubs soon. Where are you going to be playing next? Where can we hear you if we want to go and see you live? On Saturday, this Saturday coming, uh, we're playing Steve's Hometown. Which, which is, is God on me. marvellous. Right. A, a place called the Wilfred Noyce Centre. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday the 28th of March, we're playing the All Dayer down at Farnham Mortons. Right. Which, uh, which should be good. That should be excellent. What's the biggest place you've played, your best gig so far? Brixton Academy. Yeah. Not with him, though. <laughs> <laughs> have you really? I have. This is, this is Stephen from Inter. <laughs> you played at the Brixton Academy. I was there, actually, uh, last weekend watching Sleeper. You weren't backing them. Oh, like you that. poor lad. I know. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> they, they were bad. <laughs> yeah. Gone downhill big time. Yeah. No, no, no. So who were you, did you play with someone? Uh, right, are there any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about his previous band, and yes. they were terrible. And, and you can't plug previous... Oh, well, OK. <laughs> and now you're an Inter. <laughs> All right, OK. I've been Inter's biggest geek. That was... Oh, right, yeah, you saw... What, do you reckon, Dagenham Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> the Blues Tavern in Farnham. <laughs> and Tesco on a Friday night. Marvellous. What press have you had, then? 
Oh, we've had quite a few. Um, You've been in Enemy? Yeah, I've been in Enemy quite a few times, actually. Right. Have um, they reviewed the single? We're going to play a, a track from you, aren't we? Have they reviewed uh, your single? They did review it, actually. I can't remember what they said. But, uh, they they did liked it. it. They did, yeah. They said it was good. Oh, we've right. never really had any bad press in the Enemy. Yeah. We've always, uh, always they supported us. us. Yes. Cool. Okay, so we will play one now. It's off, uh, Is this mini EP available in the shops, or is it just uh, for promotional material only? It uh, was available in the shops. I don't know if it still is, no, because I think it's only it's limited... I think it's nigh on sold out now. What's, so, what's it called? Uh, it's a happy ending single. Right. And uh, the track you're going to play is Bed and Breakfast, which is one of the B-sides. Okay, we'll play that now. Cheers for coming in. Thank you. Thanks to Inter for coming in here on the uh, lunchtime show with uh, me, James and Martha, who's gone to take them to the pub. So uh, they are still rock and roll. Uh, that's from, uh, well, that is basically one of their previous single tracks. It's called Bed and Breakfast. And uh, you can look out for them. They'll be playing at a gig near you soon. We're back with Jamiroquai in just a second.